too many books but that's how many books I have <gasps> yikes <laughs> my bad hair it is school holidays time so I am literally cleaning out my <laughs> bookshelf I'm also probably going to take this one out which is a shame because I have lots of great stuff in there but something has to give I need more space so I want to pull it out. I can't have it long ways like this. Both of them, one I guess has to be up and one has to be down. Just because of the logistics of the room, so. Sorry, this is what I've done so far. So I've added my two cubes together, which I think look nicer than both of them being up. I'd love to have them both laying across like that, but obviously I've got a wall so it doesn't work. And I pulled it out of here, which is annoying because I had a lot of different stuff on the shelf, but it's fine, it is what it is. So let's fill up this baby. my books are beautifully mostly displayed I still realize that even though I have both my cubes back out it's not enough <laughs> enough space anyway I'm back now from dropping off my car and I was film filming some TikToks and basically they have been booktok videos so if you're into that make sure you follow me I'll make sure to have my TikTok link down below but I just basically want to go through the books that I have read so far this year and just kind of talk a little bit about them I don't want to go too much in depth because we'll be here all day long but I want to give you a basic yes or a no and I might even do like a maybe because I definitely feel like with some of them I am a little bit on the fence on my TikTok I did a simple yes and no but for this I might be able to talk a little bit more about it so let's start off with this series I'm not going to talk about this in any particular order because I can't remember how, how, which order I read these books I do have it on my app but I low-key am lazy and can't be bothered all right starting off with this series I kind of 
started reading it last year and then I finished off this series. So this isn't all the books in the pile. Um, these are the books I read so far this year. So I've got one, two, There are 10 books in the series and I'm just going to quickly talk to you about them. So starting off with Hoff Flower, Hoff, Hoff House Flower, I am saying yes to this one. This series is quite long and I believe it's two series combined together. So you can kind of read it in the same order, you can read them separately, but together you've got the big series and then separately you've got the two series. So there's the Addicted to You series and there's the Callaway Sisters series as well. So I honestly start to get like, this is really long. <clears throat> this series is, is long and it talks about addiction, uh, sex addiction and alcohol addiction. And they're two very, I think, could be triggering and sensitive topics. Do I think the authors glorify this? And I say authors because there's two. There's two. There's sisters, I believe. A little bit, I want to say. Just a little bit. And I also find it... I'm going to be honest. I just found some of the stuff in the series a little bit cringy. Like, they just suddenly become not... Ce well, they do. They kind of become celebrities. And they have their own reality TV show. And they do all this weird stuff. And I was finding myself, I was going, it's a bit cringy. So that's kind of the best way at explaining this series for me. Then you got the book that follows, which is called Thrive. I was going to say for this one as well, a yes. Addicted After All. This is where I started to feel a little bit bored with this series. And I'm going to start saying no. Okay. This is where it gets a little bit long. We have Feel the Fire. No. Long way down, no. I start to get really like I'm reading this because I want to get through. And like I said, I am one of those readers that will, if I start a series, I'm committed to it. I'll read it to the end. But I definitely felt like, oh my gosh, I wish I didn't start this series by this point. And then some kind of perfect. Now, I'm going to say yes to this one. And I said this as well as my TikTok. This is very strange for me because... It's a, it goes quick, but I think the authors do a really good job at bringing the characters and the storyline really well together and concluding the storyline well together. So that's why I'm giving it a yes for that reason. I read this book, I Am Pilgrim by Terry Hayes. No, this book was really like, I don't know how I got through it. I look at it now, I'm like, there's a lot of pages in this book. It was just so bizarre and just, I think it was just too complex for my brain and I just didn't like it, okay? That's what I'm going to say. This year, I also really started to fall in love with Frida McFadden. She's one of my favourite authors at the moment. I really liked, love her writing style and everything. So, starting off with The Housemaid's Secret, absolutely yes. Fourth Wing. I bought this book because a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, it's the best book ever. I am going to say maybe on my TikTok, I did say no because I'm more leaning towards that side. There's some good stuff in here. I think the reason why I might be saying maybe and is because I think it's overhyped and that's the problem with overhyped books. You read them with these expectations and you go, mm. maybe if I didn't have those expectations, maybe I'd be more of a yes. But I think it is okay. There's definitely times that I'm reading this book, well, was reading this book and I was like, I'm bored. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's just, and then it kind of picked up towards the end. That's just kind of my opinion. Sarah J. Mass, House of Flame and Shadow. I liked this book. I don't think this is her best work. It was okay, but it was still pretty good. The Coworker by Frida McFadden. Yes. Never Lie. Yes, this is like my favourite one of hers. Oh, yes. The Housemaid is watching. It wasn't her best one. I think she's, she needs to finish with this series. Clearly it was a hit, so she kind of needed to write multiple. That's kind of how I'm taking it. Uh, but it was okay. Like, it's a yes for me. The Teacher. No, this one was good in its own way, but it also had a very interesting storyline when I was like Ugh. like I'm a teacher my partner's a teacher and I was a little bit grossed out by this one if I'm gonna be honest the inmate yes I loved this one 
This is the one I just finished reading the other day. It's one by one. I am saying yes, but it started off a bit different and I was like, mm, I don't know how I feel. And I kind of got a little bit bored for the first time in a Freedom McFadden book. But then by the end, I did love it. And then the Harry Potter series. I don't think I need to go through all these books. I'm just going to say yes. It's iconic. It's Harry Potter. Anyway, guys, that is it for now. I don't know if I'll check in here at the moment. Currently, I'm reading the second book to Fourth Wing. So, yeah, I'm really just chilling at home today. So, if I check in, I check in. Okay. Thanks for watching this little book review thing, whatever you want to say.